Hello to you amazing viewers and subscribers and welcome to a new video of Doctor Who Topic today. So in this video I'm going to talk about cosplaying, why I love to cosplay the Doctors, why I'm, what my, well, what are my future cosplays that I'm planning to do in the future and some other random stuff, what I like to cosplay. So, so far in my life I've only cosplayed the 5th, 7th, 9th, 11th and 12th Doctors. So, I'm not really going to get the costumes out to show you because I have done a few videos of me wearing different of the Doctor, my different Doctor Who cosplays. I've got a few of the stuff I use for my cosplays. Like my 7th Doctor umbrella, which I know it's not really the question mark, but it did for Comic Con. So, Mr. McCoy actually loved the way I tried to make his umbrella. Well... My mum helps me with the umbrella. She brought the umbrella and the paper mache. I bought the bag paper mache. And she was helping me trying to get the stuff from my 7th Doctor cosplay spot on. So, other things I've got for like future cosplays. Because I am planning on cosplaying all of the Doctors at some point. Yeah, I'm even planning on cosplaying the 13th Doctor, Jodie Whittaker's Doctor, at some point. I'm planning on cosplaying every single version of the Doctor. And the ones I do want to do at the moment, I've already made plans for my next cosplay. I'm actually going to order that um, some point this month when I get paid for my work um, on payday. Because it's only £85 and I'm ordering myself John Pertwee's costume from Season 7. Um, which is for well, Season 7 with the cravat and stuff. But he wears the same costume for Connery in Space and of course the Sea Devils. Without the cravat, so I'm gonna I'm buying myself a variant of John Pertwee's uh, cosplay with the frilly shirt, the smoke jacket, the nice trousers, and of course, the cape. So I'm gonna show you what I own for some of the stuff like the props and stuff, like to try and help me get my cosplays into gear and stuff. So going for the John Pertwee one, as I was just saying, because John Pertwee, I am going to cosplay. He's my next cosplay. I'm going to. Comic Con in April once more to tell um, Wales Comic Con Telford Takeover again, and this time I'm going as the Incredible Third Doctor. So I've already got one part of his cosplay in, which is the Sonic Screwdriver. Yes, I've actually got myself John Pertwee Sonic Screwdriver a couple of years ago, and it's going to be big. It's one of the little parts of the cosplay that will make me cosplay the third doctor really really well because i'm getting the rest of it i just gotta get the shoes as the last resort and then john pertwee's costume is basically complete my cosplay suit for john pertwee is complete because as you can see he's a sonic screwdriver now this is the character options sonic screwdriver that did um back early 20 in 2013 2014 i think i got this one and my granddad gave me 10 pounds uh to go and spend and we went into I can't remember where it was, but they had a Toys R Us. I can't remember if it, it was somewhere in Wales and they had a Toys R Us. And for £10, they had a list of Sonic Screwdrivers. They had this one, Tom Baker's one. They had Peter Davison and, of course, Paul McGann's one. And I picked up the John Pertwee one because I absolutely loved it. And there are some stuff for, that John Pertwee uses his Sonic Screwdriver that I absolutely love from his era. Like when he's there with the in the minefield in the Sea Devils and he's like using it to scan around so as you can see it does do the sound and it does like that and this is the one essential i've got to help me with my cosplays for each doctor so i've got some of the sonic screwdrivers um i'm absolutely quite looking forward to cosplaying the third doctor so if you're in telford wales comic con in april come and say hello to me i will be dressed as the third doctor i'm getting the costume at some point this month so I'm quite looking forward to cosplaying the third Doctor. I do like to cosplay them. Uh, so yeah, that's one cosplay I'm planning on doing. So of course, you've already know that I cosplayed the fifth Doctor. Because I've got the hat, the coat, the shirt. I've got the cricket jumper. And of course, the trousers. Even the trainers. I've got Davidson's costume down to a nail. And I have cosplay Peter Davidson. I met him once, dressed in his cosplay. And he absolutely loved it. And then, of course, back uh, in November last month, I went to Comic Con dressed as the Seventh Doctor with my umbrella, the question mark, and everything else. I actually went, and Sus McCoy was actually looked proud that I was dressed as his Doctor. And I'm absolutely quite glad I actually met him for the very first time dressed as his Doctor. 
Uh, the other Doctor I've managed to cosplay is, of course, Christopher Eccleston, a.k.a. Doctor Number 9, which is really like a black or red shirt, um, black jeans, boots, and, of course, a leather jacket. But the one thing that actually helped me with his cosplay is, of course, me trusty Sonic screwdriver I've had for quite a few years now, which is why it's a bit... Uh, the paintwork's coming off it and stuff, because I've had it for quite a few years... Um, this one is, I think it's the David Tennant one, or the Heckelson one. The one, because Heckelson Tennant had the kind of same Sonic design, but it did change, I think, after Series 3 to change, like, the core bit. So, I think this is Heckelson's one as well as Tennant's. And this one actually works really, really well for my cosplay as the Ninth Doctor. And I have cosplayed the Ninth Doctor quite a few times as well, when I've been going to Comic-Con and conventions. And... It's absolutely quite nice. I'm quite. I'm really looking forward to it at one point going to a Doctor Who convention or Comic Con. At, hopefully next year, after everything that's going on with Boris Johnson and the government being terrible people. Not terrible, but you know what I'm trying to say here. You know, with the big parties they had last year when we was in lockdown. So hopefully next year in April, everything just... He literally scraps everything, opens up everything... And we get to go to more conventions and comic cons. And I'm hoping to meet Christopher Eccleston one day. Dressed as his incredible Ninth Doctor. Um, for another cosplay, I've cosplayed Matt Smith. Yes. Uh, Halloween, I went to work in my Matt Smith cosplay. I actually went to Halloween dressed as the Eleventh Doctor. With, of course, me Sonic Screwdriver. Now, I've got two Sonic Screwdrivers for the Eleventh Doctor. I've got... This one, which is a bit bad, because this was my very first ever Sonic Screwdriver for Matt Smith. The sound has no sound at all, but it does light up. So I have got this one. And then, of course, my trusty new Sonic Screwdriver, even that does the pop-up. Now, this one was actually used, Matt Smith actually did use this. And I actually have cosplay Matt Smith from Series 5 and 6. So this is another part of a good cosplay. I even cosplayed him wearing the big green coat as well, the trench coat. When he like for the later part of series six, so and then of course this bit opens up. So if you want to do like the proper thing, like that, um, I absolutely do like cosplaying Matt Smith's Doctor again. If I get to meet Matt Smith, I will be dressing up as his Doctor when I meet him for the very first time. Also, this note screwdriver works really really well for Peter Capaldi's cosplay for series eight because he in series eight and a little bit of series nine, he actually used. Matt Smith's 11th, the 11th Doctor Sonic Screwdriver. So, that's another good part of cosplaying a Doctor. Uh, the 12th Doctor, I'm, I've am already cosplayed because I've got his Sonic Screwdriver from Series um, 9 and 10. I've actually cosplayed him in from the Monk Trilogy before with the red shirt, the blue, like the kind of black trousers and the boots with... The with the black coat, I have cosplayed that doc that ver that variant of the Twelfth Doctor, and this works really really well for that cosplay. It really works absolutely great for that cosplay. So talking about some other random stuff I got for cosplays, I've got two versions of Tom Baker's scarf. I've got his scarf like from season twelve to fourteen, and then my mum knitted me one that is actually pro like his proper one like the really long version that he used for season 15 16 and 17 so i'm hoping to cosplay the fourth doctor at some point because not only do i have his scarves i actually got his tidus key as well with swiss mccoy so that's another part of a cosplay you can and you can actually use this for the eighth doctor's tidus key as well um so i've got that part for the fourth doctor i just gotta get his sonic screwdriver again because i've I've lost his Sonic Screwdriver. But I've managed to get, like, get his scarf. And that's one part of the cosplay sorted. So i just got to get a few other little variants. Um, I'm hoping to cosplay his costume from season 18. The whole burgundy outfit. Because I absolutely love Tom Baker's outfit from season 18. It's one of my favourites of the Fourth Doctor's looks. To be honest with you. It's absolutely amazing and stuff. I like the way the shirt like throws out with the question marks for the very first time. And I just absolutely want to cosplay him. I also want to cosplay him like from season twelve, as well with these like with the kind of like checkered jumper, grey trousers which I've got on, re like brown shoes which I've got as well, um white shirt I've got. I just got to get like a green cravat and the jacket and of course the brown hat and then that variant of Tom Baker will be complete. 
Another doctor I want to cosplay is, of course, Colin Baker. Now, Colin Baker's costume you can buy as a whole for only £140. I'm hoping to get that at some point. I do want to go dressed as Colin Baker's doctor to a Comic Con slash conventions. I um, really am hoping to cosplay them at some point. Uh, talking about the first two doctors now, I do want to cosplay the first doctor. I saw somebody dress as the first doctor um, at last month at Co Telford Comic Con. And it absolutely looked amazing. And the guy that I was talking to about how he made it and stuff, it took him four years to make it. And he absolutely looked spot on for his cosplay of the first Doctor. He's actually dressed as the first Doctor from the War Games. Um, not the War Games, sorry, the War Machines, that's it. I don't know why I said the War Games. Um, from the War Machines, where the Doctor stands up to the War Machines for the faith. Where you see the Doctor won't be intimidated for the very first time. Where you kind of see all the, like, the human people, like the human soldiers... Running behind him and the doctors are there going like that and standing up. Like, you know, like that. So that's another good part. I love a cosplay I want to do. Uh, a first doctor. I do want to cosplay him. Definitely. I do want to cosplay again the second doctor. Now, Patrick Trotton, as you all know, is, of course, my third favourite doctor. And I would actually love to cosplay him. I've just got to get, like, the tartan trousers. I've got to get the shoes. I've got the jacket, believe it or not. I've already got the jacket and I just got to get a blue, like a white and blue flute for his cosplay and then he's done. John Pertwee, I've already said I'm planning on doing John Pertwee. I'm getting his costume when I next get paid because I've got his sonic screwdriver. Now, John Pertwee is, of course, my fourth favourite doctor after the great Patrick Trout and after Sylvester McCoy and Tom Baker. So out of my five favourite doctors, I've only met two of them, which is Sylvester McCoy and Peter Davison, because Peter Davison is, of course, my fifth favourite. Sylvester McCoy is my second favourite. I'm hoping to meet Tom Baker one day, because he is my all-time favourite Doctor. I've got, if I can, I will take everything I own of his era to sign. I've got all of the DVDs. I'll take them to sign. I'll be taking the Blu-ray box sets for him to sign. I will be taking the VHSs. Anything to do with his era and story, I will take for him to sign. Yes, it will cost me an awful lot, but... It's Tom Baker. There's nothing you can do about it. Tom Baker is just the doctor. He's amazing. And I'm hoping to meet him one day to cos... I'm hoping to wear my cosplay when I get that now down to meet Tom Baker. Because I know sometimes he does, like, comic cons. I know he sometimes does, like, conventions and stuff. So I'm really hoping to cosplay his doctor and basically take all of my VHSs and DVDs and the Blu-rays with me for him to sign of his Doctor Who era. And of course, coming into the like the proper last classic Doctor, I want to um, basically cosplay. It is Paul McGann's Doctor. Now I've already got one little bit part of his cosplay, and like John Pertwee's Doctor, it is his sonic screwdriver. Yes, I've got Paul McGann's sonic screwdriver it, again. If you look at it, it is a bit battered. I've had it for quite a few years. Um, this is the one sonic screwdriver I absolutely love because in the TV movie you see Sylvester McCoy's Doctor of it as well, and he goes there. That should do it. I absolutely am looking forward to cosplaying Paul McGann's Doctor at some point. Yes, even though Paul McGann is like my second least favourite Doctor. But I am hoping to cosplay him. He's what a magnificent. I absolutely do like his like, screwdriver. I am hoping to cos cosplay his Doctor at some point. I'm going to get myself a black curly wig. I'm going to show me hit like black curly wig so I can actually try and make it look like him from the TV movie. Or if I've gone to go really, really further with the cosplay, I probably would actually cosplay him from Night of the Doctor with the kind of like the time we, the time war batter doctor with a few blood stains here. Like you do see him when he crash lands on the planet Khan in Night of the Doctor. So I am planning on cosplaying that one. Uh, John Hurt's Doctor, I own nothing off. I don't own his Sonic and I don't own anything to like help cosplay him apart from the leather jacket, which I use for the Ninth Doctor. I am hoping to cosplay John Hurt's Doctor. I'm already planning on growing an actual beard for that cosplay at some point. I'm hoping for... I want to do that when I'm a bit older and I have a bit of a grey hair and stuff. So I'm hoping to, when I get older and go greyer, I'm going to cosplay John Hurt's Doctor. I really am. That's one big massive plan. Uh, the next Doctor I want to cosplay is, of course, the 10th Doctor from Doctor Who, uh, as you know. Um, David Tennant, as you all know, is my least favourite Doctor. It doesn't mean I don't like him and stuff, but I will cosplay him at some point. With his Sonic Screwdriver that I got like, from my 9th Doctor cosplay, 
I am going to cosplay Tenant's look. I'd probably go with the blue suit variant with the red tie because that's my favourite variant and it comes around about Series 3, Series 4, but I absolutely love love that suit. It's a lot better than the brown suit because the brown suit makes him look really, really boring with the blue suit. it makes it, with, the, with the brown jacket, it just makes him look absolutely grey and I do love that cosplay. At some point, I have seen people cosplay Tenant quite a lot. I met quite a few people just dressed as Tenant last month at Comic Con. And they all wore the blue suit, and I think they like agreed with me the same. The blue suit does look amazing, where the brown suit that he wears for Series 2, a lot of Series 3, and little bits of Series 4, and some of the specials, don't look that great. And the blue, blue suit looks amazing. And then, of course, Jodie Whittaker's Doctor, I am hoping to cosplay at some point, um, because I've got her Sonic. So, yeah, that's Jodie Whittaker's cosplay I've already got so far, but I'll gonna get the boots and stuff i do want to cosplay them now instead of talking about the doctors i like to cosplay like i would actually like to cosplay at some point the non-canon doctors like the peter cushion doctors or like the peter cushion doctor sorry or rowan ackerson's doctor from the curse curse of fatal death i would actually like to cosplay him. but the thing is that you can actually use that costume because he because he wears it for richard e. grant huge grant um some other actors wear the same costume so you can actually say that's like anything, but it's actually from The Curse of Fatal Death. Now, talking about some of the villains I actually like to cosplay, there are three variants I would actually like to cosplay. Uh, one is, of course, Anthony Ainley's version of The Master. Yes, I'm going to probably dye my hair black and my beard black when I grow it. When I get to cosplay his Doctor, I'm hoping to cosplay... I'm hoping to cosplay his Master because he's my all-time favourite Master. All you need is the kind of, like... Black trousers. You can actually wear it with a suit because he does wear a suit in the Planet of Fire. Planet of Fire, he actually goes around wearing a suit and stuff. So I'm hoping to cosplay that. Um, I want to cosplay two variants of the Cybermen. Yes, I want to cosplay the kind of like the 1960s Cybermen at some point because you can actually get the costume. Um, there's two variants of the 1960s I like to cosplay. One is the variant from the Moon Base slash Tomb. And then you've got the Invasion ones. Because the Invasion ones, I absolutely love the Invasion look. And then, of course, the main proper Cyberman variant I do want to cosplay is, of course, the Cyberman from the 1980s. I absolutely love the 1980s. So, I mean, destroy them. Destroy them at once. My army awakes, Doctor. I just absolutely love the 1980s Cyberman. And I'm hoping to cosplay them at some point. Now, for companions, for me to cosplay, I have quite a few... I want to cosplay the Brickadier. I like. I would actually like to cosplay Harry Sullivan. I would actually like to try and cosplay. Uh, can't remember his name. Uh, Arthur Deval. Arthur Deval. Arthur Devine. Something like that. Who plays Rory? I would actually like to cosplay Rory at some point. I would actually like to cosplay some of the male Doctor's companions, even Tarlo. Tarlo, I think, will be great. Imagine me cosplaying Adric. I think I think that'd be a good cosplay. Um, there are quite a few other cosplays I would actually like to do, like a Davros cosplay. I would actually like to try and work on. I probably will probably like to work on an Omega cosplay from the Three Doctors because I absolutely love the Three Doctors and I think Omega will be a great challenge to do. So this is my video of the ones I like to cosplay. Um, cosplaying, well, I'm going to give say cosplaying the Doctor. It is a big opportunity for Doctor Who fans. If you're a big Doctor Who fan and you like to cosplay the Doctor, I would highly recommend to do so because it is great. I have seen people, like men and women, dressed as different versions of the Doctor. I've seen men and women dress up as different variants of the Companions. I mean, I even saw a woman, like a man dressed as Romana wearing like her costume from Destiny of the Daleks with the white scarf with the pink coat. Um, I was like, wow. I have seen somebody dress as Romana too um, from Destiny of the Daleks. So cosplaying is a great way to show that you love Doctor Who. Even so, even when you go and meet some of the Doctor Who actors in your cosplays and they know you're a Doctor Who fan because you know you love, they love your, you love their era, you love everything about the show and stuff. I haven't, I've seen somebody dress as Captain Jack Harkness as well and Rose Tyler from Modern Who. And I've seen someone dress as Amy as well. I haven't really seen me, many people dress as like Clara or Bill or Yaz, or Graham, or Ryan, you know, any of the, like, some of the modern ones, I've only seen, I've only seen three companions, people dressed as different companions, which is Rose, Captain Jack, and Amy Pond, they're the only ones I've seen, I haven't even seen people dressed as River Song, 
Um, the, so, this is the video I wanted to make for quite a while. Sit down here and talk about the cosplays and why, what cosplays I want to work on and stuff. Uh, cosplaying is absolutely great and stuff. It, it's the one day you can actually wear it all the time if you wanted to. Where you can just, don't have to pretend that you're just a normal human being. You can be a high functioning alien from the planet Gallifrey. Travelling in the TARDIS to travel against Daleks, Cybermen, Santarans, the Master. Uh, so anyway, let me know in the comments who do you want to cosplay. If you think cosplay is your thing, let me know in the comments and I'd like to hear your designs. And there will be a video coming out soon, hopefully. Around about when I get me John Pertwee costume of me showing my John Pertwee costume off. Because that is the next Doctor I'm actually going to cosplay. And that's the next one I'm working on. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. Please do like, subscribe and share and join me for more Doctor Who content.